Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat and today in this video we are going to learn how we can merge and apply a bunch of different animations to a single 3D model using Blender 3D and then importing that animated model into Copper Cube Game Engine. So without further ado, let's get started. Open up your browser and go to www.mixamo.com. Log in into your Adobe account because we are going to use Mixamo for our character model and for some animations. Go to this characters tab here and select whatever character you want. For this video reference, I'm going to use this ninja model here. So go ahead and type ninja in the search bar and it will show three models. I'm going to select the first one and click use this character. Once your character is loaded in this 3D viewport, you can go ahead and click this animation step here and search for your desired animation. I'm gonna leave it to Ninja because we are going to use Ninja animations. So I'm gonna select this Ninja Idol and as soon as you click this Ninja Idol, this animation will be applied to your character. It will show the results in the 3D viewport here and will also show some animation properties on the right side of the screen like overdrive, character arm space, trim, mirror, etc. depending on the animation type. If you want, you can tweak these settings, but I'm going to use the default one. Once you are satisfied with these settings, go ahead and click this download button here and download your 3D model to your computer. I'm not going to download it again because I have already downloaded it on my desktop like run, sneak walk, ninja idol animation. Now let's go to our second animation which is sneak walk and again I have downloaded it with the default settings but for the run animation I have opted for in place in the animation settings and downloaded it on my desktop. Now open up your blender I'm using Blender 2.9. You can use whatever Blender version you have. It doesn't matter. Delete all the default objects by pressing A and then delete. Go to files, then import your Mixamo animation files, which we have just downloaded. Go to import and then FBX and navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the models and the animation file from Mixamo.com. In my case, it is on my desktop. So desktop and then ninja idle click import fbx and it will load the model with the animation in the 3d viewport here let me just drag it here and drag it up here you will see the timeline here which will show all the frames or animation has so now in order to merge animation to this model for example the run and sneak walk animation what we have to do is just click this timeline button here and change the timeline to a dope sheet editor. Once you have selected dope sheet editor, then go ahead and change the dope sheet editor mode to action editor. As soon as you click this action editor, you will see the list of all the actions here. And if you click this drop down here, then you will see the list. Right now we have only one action, which is named as F armature mixamo.com layer zero. We can rename it to idle and if I play the animation or if I just drag or move this timeline around it will play the animation or I can hit the space bar to auto play the animation. Now we are going to import our second animation which is our run animation I think. Go to import fbx and then select run fbx and then click import fbx as soon as the file is loaded in the 3d viewport all you have to do is press the delete button now select this armature which is our skeleton or rig and then click this drop down button here for the actions and you will see that there is another action named as f armature 001 mixamo.com layer 0 and this is our run animation. If I click this now, then you will see our model is now in the run animation loop. So it will play the run animation like this. And now I'm going to rename it to run. So right now we have two animation. And now we are going to import our third animation by going into file, then import, then select FPX. Then select sneakwalk.fbx and click import fbx. 
It will load the model into the 3D viewport. As soon as the model is loaded, hit delete button to delete the model. Now select the armature of the main character and go to action list and you will notice that there is another action named armature.001 mixamo.com layer 0. Select it and rename it to sneak walk. And if I move the cursor around the timeline, then you will notice there is something different from the previous animations in this animation. And the difference is that our character is not logged to the root position here. It is moving on the y-axis. So in order to fix or to make this animation log to the root position, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my object mode to pose mode and then go to objects then drop down of armature then pose and then select the first bone which is mixamo rig hips and now press n to open the transform properties of the model or the armature now change your dope sheet editor back again to the timeline and click this record button here or the auto keying button to record the keyframes automatically when we change the transformation of our rig or the model. Select the very first frame which is frame 1 and hover your cursor over to Z axis and press 0. Select and press 0. Now copy this and press enter. Now press right arrow key to move one frame ahead or to move to the second frame and press Ctrl V to paste that value which we have copied which is 0 to the next frame. Do the same until you reach the final frame which is 28 and make sure your cursor is over this Z axis here and the Z axis is highlighted in the transform properties here. Hit right arrow press ctrl v 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 do the same process until you reach the final frame let me quickly do this and it will lock your object to the root position And we are done. If I now move around my cursor over this timeline, then you will notice that our animation is now playing on the root position instead of moving on the Y axis. I don't know if this is the same in the previous versions, but in Blender 2.9, Y axis is shown as green color in the 3D viewport here, but in the transform value, you have to change the Z value, not the Y value. So this is quite odd to see and to experience. It is weird, but yep, this is how you have to do deal with it. And now it's the turn to import this model in our Copper Cube game engine. So first we need to export our model as FBX file. So go ahead and click file, then export, then FBX. And I'm going to save it on my desktop as ninja and click export fbx with the default settings we are not going to change anything here and it will export the animation to our desktop here now open up your copper cube editor let me maximize it delete the default cube mesh and the default skybox now click this import and animated mesh or if you are using my shortcuts then you can use alt f7 to import it let me just check uh, alt f7 yep and go to ninja fbx and click open it will load the model or with the animation in the 3d viewport here as you can see, our animation is playing right here. 
And if you scroll down in the attributes properties of the model and go to animation drop down here, then you will see all these three action which we have created in the blender named as armature idle, armature run, armature sneak walk. So if I select idle, then the idle animation will be played. And if I select run, the character will go into the run loop. And if I select sneak walk, it will go into the sneak walk. And notice that the sneak walk animation is playing on the root position itself. It is not moving on the Z axis or the Y axis, whatever it is. So this is how you can do merge the animations, bunch of different animations to a single 3D model using Blender 3D. And this is this video is not particular or specific to Mixamo model. You can animate almost every model. All you have to do is those models should have same rig or the same skeleton. For example, I have these beer animations here and they all possess the same skeleton or the same rig or the same armature. And now I'm going to show you how you can merge those animations to that model. Let me just delete this by going into object mode, select it, hit delete, and then go to file. Let me just quickly create a new general file so we don't have to deal with the cache memory. So go ahead in file, then import, then click FBX, then desktop, beer animations, and then beer rig here, which is our beer model. Click import and it will load the model with the default rig. And now let me just drag it up here, go to dope sheet editor, change it to actions, and then file, import, FBX, beer attack, import FBX, delete the rig, select the rig, change it to armature base layer, which is our attack animation. So you can see it is our attack, attack animation. Now I can rename it to attack. So this is not at all limited to Mixamo animation. You can do with any animation or with any rig. All you have to aware about that your character or the rig or all the animation should be same or the bone names at least the bone names of the rig should be same for example here in beer the bone name is beer root h joint beer spine h 01 s joint beer one hind lag and such as you can let me just import another animation file here by going into fbx then beer die click import fbx and then let me just quickly move it to show you that this armature doesn't possesses any model while when we were importing these ninja models they all have some character model assigned to them or the character animation rig is assigned to a character model so we have different models for different rigs here while for the beer animations we have only the armature so that's it how you can merge the animations to a single 3d model but there's still a problem here if we go to copper cube then we will notice that there is no texture appearing on our model so how to fix that in order to fix that we are going to import the model which we have downloaded from Mixamo, for example, Ninja Idol and our scene, and it will import with the texture, I think, or it will create a folder named Ninja Idol.fbm on the desktop. And what we can do here is then we can go to add, then go to Ninja Idol, and then select all the textures and click open. And it will load the textures in our texture panel here. And we can select the character and apply the texture to our model. And it will look nice. So now we have our animations and the textures for our Mixamo model. So 
So that's it. This is the end of the video. This is how you can merge and apply a bunch of different animations to a single 3D model and fix the character uh, root position issue and the texture problem in Blender and in Copper Cube. So if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. That's it. Peace out. Bye bye.